UK, in Britain, they've obviously got a terror problem. They've got a lot of youngsters going over to fight for ISIS. About just under a thousand are going over there. And they've got a whole new series of proposals to deal with this, including withdrawal of passports from some of these people who've gone Absolutely overseas to fight. Absolutely good. good. And closing some mosques. Would you do the same thing in America? I would do that. Absolutely. I think it's great. I know they have a lot of proposals over there. If you go out, mm. you go fight for ISIS. Can you do it? You can't come back. Why can't you do it? You can, can you do it here. Can you close a mosque? I mean, we do have Well, I don't know. Freedom. I mean, I haven't heard about the closing of the mosque. It depends. If the mosque is, you know, loaded for bear, I don't know. You're going to have to certainly look at it. But I can tell you one thing. If somebody goes over and they want to fight for ISIS, they wouldn't be coming back. And in this country, you know, that's been proposed for two years now. And... As usual, our, re our, po our politicians can't get together on it. But it's not the politicians. It's President Obama primarily, isn't it? Well, it's, it's every well, he's a politician. Yeah, uh, it's, it's, every, it's, it's, this, it's everybody. Why it's everybody. Is this response so, I mean, it's not a very dramatic response to homegrown terror. It doesn't seem to be. Why not? Well, I think it's incredible that somebody can come from this country or from England or wherever you may have it and go out and fight for ISIS and then come back into our country. If they want to fight for ISIS, I think that's fine. They're not coming back into our country if I become president. Okay. The various issues have been raised in this campaign. I wonder if I could go through them real fast and get your response to some of the proposals, often from the Democrat side, uh, that have been made in this campaign. I'm going to start with a fast response, if you would. Paid family leave. Well, it's something that's being discussed. I think we have to keep our country very competitive, so you have to be careful of it. But certainly there are a lot of people discussing it. Fifteen dollar an hour minimum wage. It, we have to keep our similar answer. You have to keep our country competitive. One of the reasons com companies are leaving is because salaries are too high. You look at what's going on in Vietnam and in China and so many different places. So we have to be very, very careful with that. That sounds so easy, but we have to be very, very competitive or we're going to lose all of our jobs in this country. Well, it sounds like you're saying, no, we well, can't not, afford I'm not, family I'm leave. not a big fan because I, I want to be competitive with other countries, and that's what we're competing against, and that's what we're losing to. Okay. Hillary Clinton proposes free pre-K for all. Well, I don't like it because eventually you're going to have to raise everybody's taxes. So that's a big there is no, no on such thing, well. Stuart, there is no such thing as free. You're going to have to raise taxes. You do that, you're going to have to raise taxes. With that being said, we're going to be coming out with a plan on education, which is going to lower costs and make it really good. But that is a, it's, it's very, very hard, very easy to do, very, very easy to do. And you know what's going to happen? We already have tremendous deficits. You're going to have to raise everybody's taxes higher. We're already the number one taxed country in the world. We have to be very careful. Now, would you do a, a Bush 41 and say, read my lips, no new taxes. Would you do that? Well, I could do that. I'm not going to do it on your show, but I could do that, and I could certainly think about doing that, because my taxes, and under my plan, as you know, I'm reducing taxes, I think, more than any other candidate by far. So I could, I could certainly, uh, that's where my mindset is, uh, not just keeping you know, no new taxes. I'm substantially lowering taxes. I'm bringing the corporate tax down to 15. I'm bringing taxes down to, a, to the lowest point that they've been in years. And what's going to happen is the economy is going to take off. How about this one? Uh, Hillary Clinton and the president say, do not build the Keystone Pipeline. And you no, say... No, I would, I would let the Keystone Pipeline be built, absolutely. Apple. It's the, the computer company. It's got $183 billion stashed away overseas. What measures would you take to bring some of that money or all of that money back home to America? Well, it's called corporate inversion. It's such a simple problem. We have billions and trillions, actually, to at least two and a half trillion dollars overseas. Companies can't get it in. And the amazing thing about this one is everybody, Republican and Democrat, want the money to come back, and they can't even agree on that. So here, everybody agrees the money should come back. We should have the money in our country so we can rebuild different things and, you know, have lots of fun with our infrastructure and everything else, which is falling apart and desperately needed. And even that's Stuart, we can't get back in. So here's a point that everybody wants. Everybody agrees the money should come back in. They can't even agree on that. Break up the big banks. Now, you do business with the biggest of big banks here in New York City and around the world. A lot of people on the left want to just break them up. What say you? 
Uh, I disagree, but I also think we have to get rid of Dodd-Frank. The banks aren't loaning money to people that need it. The banks will give me all the money I need because I don't need the money. Anybody that doesn't need money is a great candidate to get money. If you need money to create jobs, to build something, whether it's buildings or a company, the banks aren't there. The regulators are running the banks, and that's why our country, I mean, people can't borrow money today.